Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're at out there on this beautiful Sunday, October 8th, 2023. It's about 11.38 a.m. here, California time. Uh, latest activity on the Earthquake 3D globe looks like a 1.0 into California. And a handful of earthquakes overnight. We'll check that out here in just a second. Right now, getting a beautiful eruption here off the northern limb of the sun. Some beautiful plasma being sent off into space, not Earth-directed from a prominence that had been uh, positioned up here. Looks like a good portion of it is blasting off from the northern regions here of the sun. Again, this is not Earth-directed and should have no effect on Earth other than looking pretty, looking photogenic, I must say. That's the image here. And the video in the last hour or so, the latest imagery does continue to show that uh, prominence lift off there. Also, about the same time, it uh, looks like we may have had some type of uh, eruptive activity down here on the western limb, southwestern limb of the sun from a sunspot. Starting to pick back up here, it looks like, far as the sun goes. Now, we do have a couple sunspots here that are starting to... Um, Let's see, which one is it? 3452 and 34... What's the other one? 3441? 51. Uh, this sunspot's starting to get a little bit of organization up here. Notice the filling in of this gap between the little cores here. That could be a, a good sign of this thing starting to uh, get fairly complex in terms of the potential for some flaring. we we'll continue to watch that, though, over the past couple days as it has been centered facing the Earth. It's been relatively neutral, not a whole lot of flaring, but it uh, looks like now this thing wants to ramp up now that it's no longer facing Earth in, in direct view. And uh, so we'll watch that. It's going to be uh, drifting off to the western limb here and out of sight, out of mind here in the coming days. Solar flare threat from these remaining sunspots are pretty much non-existent. Very minimal chance for uh, any flaring across the rest of these sunspot areas. And around the eastern limb, there's not a whole lot coming up, unfortunately. Uh, but we will continue to watch that and uh, report back on anything that may kick up. Here's a little bit of that explosive event down here on the western limb of the sun. Southwestern limb. It looks like it's from a very far side sunspot. And uh, we're just happen happening to see a little bit of it here up above the uh, horizon of the sun. And again, there's not a whole lot of complex structure out here that's facing the Earth other than this region up here that's continuing to grow. So right now, the main threat, 95% uh, chance for a C flare, M flare at 35, X flare has been bumped up a slight amount due to that complexity, 2-5% chance. Not a whole lot of roars in the forecast for now, but hopefully that can change in the future as we get some uh, active regions um, popping off some flares here, Earth directed soon, hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right, earthquake activity. Let's see what we got here overnight. Uh, well, within the last hour, a little bit of movement here. Almost a six-pointer near the Bismarck Sea area outside Papua New Guinea. Ten kilometers deep. This is the area that did see some rather large-scale movement here. It's off the map now, but uh, within the past oh, 36 hours or so, we did see quite a few large earthquakes kicking up there around Papua New Guinea uh, 6.7 6.9 yesterday earlier in the morning so it's off the 24-hour map but uh, things definitely kicked up there yesterday it looks like a little bit of movement kicking up and trying to work its way around this area once again with that 5.9 coming in within the last hour uh, Solomon Islands this earthquake here was from early this morning 4.9 uh, right around the Solomon Islands area and uh, some activity out here along the yeah probably the northern edge here of the Kermadec Trench that was from yesterday 5.0 10 kilometers deep so a little bit of movement also kicking up here into western China once again looks like uh, I did see some fours kicking up here late last night and early this morning a handful of earthquakes out here today uh, Izu Trench, that area that has seen some uh, tremendous swarming here in the past week or so. They've seen uh, quite a few fives, quite a few sixes. We're coming up on 81 large magnitude earthquakes here. Not extremely large. I uh, should probably say moderate to large earthquakes, including a couple sixes there in the last week. In fact, we had uh, three six-pointers 
over the course of the last week. Let me bring up the large, largest magnitude first and show you guys here. One, two, three, scattered uh, over a couple day period here. But you can see how many fives have kicked up here in the swarm as well. Pretty tremendous amount of earthquake activity. This all came to a halt yesterday when we've seen significant movement down here in Papua New Guinea and also some large scale activity in an odd region of Western Afghanistan. We don't really see too much activity out here. Eastern Afghanistan, yes, but it's a ways out there. So, did we have anything else brewing up overnight in this area? Well, one earthquake, I've seen this coming in before bed, 5.2 in that same area, but that's about it. A little bit of further movement up north, deeper activity here just off the coast of Japan, south coast. That was a 4.4, 326 kilometers deep. So, Things are still kind of interesting and active out here, but not quite so much as what we've seen in the last couple days here. Kuro Kamachaka seen some movement as well yesterday. The big island of Hawaii, this has calmed down as well. Pretty much in uh, synchronicity with that activity there around the Izu Trench. Although today it looks like a slight uptick activity event uh, occurring around the Kilauea Volcano. Some of these uh, down there about two kilometers or so. Still seeing some magma movement on the uh, on the move down there. Let's see if we got any information here from the uh, Hawaiian Volcano Observatory with regards to Kilauea update. Uh, it's currently not erupting. This is the official wording here from the USGS. And... Uh, Continuing to see signs of unrest, that's due to the elevated earthquake activity south of the uh, Kilauea uh, summit area. Still just kind of watching this, seeing how this plays out. All right, uh, California, Let's see what we got going on out here. There's that little swarm that's kicking up here outside of the Middleton area of California. This is kicking up last night. And it uh, looks like that's continuing this morning as well. It's off of the, uh, I think one of these, I think there's a separate fault system in here. This map does not show all of them, unfortunately. Uh, but it is on a coastal range fault system. Not a huge one, a little smaller one that sits uh, outside the uh, Calistoga area. South of the uh, swarming region. This is a Clear Lake volcanic field. Uh, near Cobb Mountain, Calpine Hydrothermal Operations out here. These are uh, energy facilities. They produce energy. And there's a whole process involved. Uh, but a little bit of activity stirring up there today in the uh, that little separate swarm. Keep an eye on that. Southern California, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of movement. Uh, yesterday, we did have two small, very small earthquakes here. Uh, it looks like they raised them up a little bit. I think if I remember last night, this was like a 1.1. This was a 1.0. Uh, so those are a little bit higher than what I've seen last night, right at the southern end of the San Andreas Fault. Continue to watch that. One little earthquake here this morning, though, 5 point, or 1.5, a little bit further south along that extensional fault system. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, not a whole lot going on. Some movement up around the Idaho area. The rest of the state's pretty quiet, aside from some movement out there in the... Uh, Typical zones, Puerto Rico Trench area, a little bit of activity here around the Dominican Republic at 4.4, just after midnight, my time. South America, some handful of earthquakes there from yesterday. And it looks like we had one of them there at 3.33 in the morning. 4.3, 99 kilometers deep into the area of the Peru Chile Trench. All right, folks, well, we'll just kind of watch this today and see how this plays out. Continued movement down here. Uh, some areas that really haven't seen catching up, so to speak, of course, sits down around New Zealand. And if you really think about it, the Tonga, Fiji area, Kermadec Trench area has been quiet for the most part here for the past three or four days, aside from this one from yesterday. Um, we'll just kind of watch this and see how it plays out. Severe weather threat today. There's not a whole lot. Storm Prediction Center, let's see if that's going to work. There's, yes, it is. Current day one outlook, mainly over Arizona. This is just thunderstorm activity. No severe weather threat. Less than 5% for uh, the majority, less than 2% for tornadoes. So not 
an active region at all, aside from some general thunderstorms. All right, folks, have a good day. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on this evening. Got a bunch of stuff we got to do. Take care. <laughs>